And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're heading out in DCS and we're going to check out how good these DCS new AI are in these jet fighters. So I'm in the F-15 and we're going to try and take on this F-16 which is veteran level. Doesn't look magnificent with all that air flowing off. So here we come in, we're having a, a nose to nose merge over the Nevada desert and uh, let's see how this plays out. So guns only, into the merge. Going to take it one circle, heading back the other way. That's nose to nose, if you're not familiar. So he's taking himself out a little bit, keeping the speed up high. I'm going to come in, looks like, for another nose to nose merge again. Let's look behind, find where he is. We're going to go for a right turn. Bring it around, making sure we get the speed up here on the, on the big... Eagle doesn't like to slow down, although it doesn't give you bad authority on the nose if you do have it slowed down. Give him a bit of uh, a welcome few rounds there. Let's head down a little bit closer to him, see if we can't close this gap. He's just disappearing towards the top of the screen. The thing with the Viper, you really got to fly it between sort of 4, 450. Uh, 450 is probably its, its happy place. And, uh, and in doing that, it does keep a little bit of distance from you. So you might find it a bit hard to see him on screen, but it's right smack in the middle of the screen at the moment, just above my canopy bow, as I come back over the top again. I found in these fights, I was let myself get a little bit slow. My speed control wasn't great. I've got better since, but it wasn't super great as we uh, haul him around. We'll stick out a few flares. We're back up about 450. 400 is sort of the sweet spot for the Viper according to the energy management diagrams. I was having a bit of a look to see where I needed to be online. He's mid-screen again, chasing him around. It's a bit of a chase around the circle. We're in two-circle flow now, which means nose to tail. So I'm chasing him around like a rabid dog. And uh, we're going to try and run him down. But again, he's going pretty quick and we're playing his game at the moment. I would probably be well deserved to come back one circle on him in the in the F-15 because I believe it would do the job very well. So we're at 350 and then I'm going to come round one circle. I'm going to try and come back on his nose. Let's close the distance a little. Roll up and around. A bit of a lag pursuit coming around over the top. Mid-screen he is there at the moment. Got him locked up. Now, we've just got to keep turning and try and get that pepper on him. Okay, I've got slow again you can see it wallowed on me so I just relax the stick and try and get some speed back back down around about 250 knots so I got to get moving it's a real cat and mouse game with this Viper and these AI are excellent guys have you been using them at all have you been doing a bit of uh, training in the uh, editor and creating your own missions this is what I've been doing lately and found it really entertaining let me know down below in the comments if you've been doing it and how you found them. I do find that they fight totally differently between uh, Ace and Veteran. They do have different tricks up their speed when you uh, when you use the Ace guys. But what I have found most recently is uh, with some battles online with some Mirages, the the vertical fight has been really popular and the Viper often will do that. Now it started out as a vertical fight, but it's just transgressed or tra translated down to the ground as many of these battles do. I'm going to come back around again. A lot of close passes, heads on, just never quite getting getting guns on. It's just a little low there. I'm going to come around again. Keep it going. Keep the power up and don't get too greedy on on the stick. Still a little slow, 350, but not bad. Interesting that he doesn't uh, fire head to head, you know. When you come nose to nose in a, in a one circle. We can try and force this again. We're back to circle. You can see how quickly the Viper's going. I'm not sure whether you can see him after all the YouTube compression guys, but he's just over that second hill. And he's uh, he's making a little ground on me at the moment, so... 
we've got uh, offset circles at the moment so his circles and mine are forcing us to come close together and then we move away again but this is translated into a bit of a, a one circle fight back into two chasing him around here try and keep my speed up and try and get this tidied up speed's not bad and I reckon he's pretty slow right now so we're going to track around we're just holding above the canopy bow there and I'm just waiting for my speed to try and come up a bit so I can grab a shot he's just starting to march backward on the canopy again so I need to ease off and get some speed back so I can keep my turn rate it's just sitting above those rocks there over the horizon and he's doing a bloody good job of trying to get around my tail you can see pretty evenly set at the moment between the two and I'm losing a little bit of speed here so I need to ease, I've just eased off, we're back through 300 knots it does turn pretty nice at about 350 a lot of the time as well I'm just reversing on him again because He's just outrating me in, in the Viper. And we're back rolling again. He's gone back behind me. Tracking around again. There he is, mid screen, upper mid screen. Look for the little red dot if you can. They've just got the little red dot there to show you where he is. And I'm just going to stay down here and watch him while I come around. But I'm feeling like this is going the right way. Okay, up we go. 250, fairly slow. Get some rounds out. Have him avoid those. Get a couple more rounds out. Okay, yeah, we've got him on the run, it looks like, at the moment. So he's heading down. Maybe we've... Uh, uh, look, well, we may have hit him. So he's gone into the ground there. So that uh, I'll take that as a win, guys. Fairly challenging though, so I've got a few more fights with a range of different aircraft coming up for you. Hope you enjoy this. If you like these battles, please let me know in the comments below. The uh, having a few comments and down the bottom really does help out the old algorithm for YouTube, so people, more people can find the channel. So until next time, thanks for visiting. Subscribe, like, and I will catch you back here at Let's Fly VFR real soon. Bye bye.